at noon starts with a pretty dead scene at the Virginia Beach oceanfront. In case you hadn't heard, the Something in the Water Festival is delayed until further notice. And it's all because of this mess you see on the right hand side of your screen. All that green and yellow on the radar. Our team of meteorologists tracking this front moving in to give you the very latest. Thanks for joining us here at noon. I'm Ashley Smith. Hi, I'm Bethany Reese. I was out there this morning. Yes, you the were. wind, the rain. I just got back in. Francis, man, talk to us about when this is going to just stop. <laughs> you were such a trooper earlier this morning. I have to give you kudos for that because we saw strong winds this morning. We dealt with widespread rain showers and heavy rain showers too, but we even saw wind gusts near about 30 to even 40 miles per hour. The good news is we're starting to see this let up just a little bit. As you can still see on your satellite radar, we are still going to be dealing with a busy early afternoon. So taking you through your radar, we're seeing pretty much light rain showers across the entire eastern shore. Here we have this heavier band moving northward throughout the northern neck. Let's get things a little bit closer. Seeing some rain showers extending from Gloucester Point, falling around, falling along Route 17 into Pocosin, as well as Newport News. We're dealing with some heavy rainfall. We can actually hear it here on our roof in downtown Norfolk. We're also looking at some heavier rain showers near Franklin Junction, as well as in Suffolk, extending down and towards Acorn Hill. But let's bring you towards the Virginia Beach Ocean Front, where we do have something in the water. We're watching this lighter cell move into the region. Good news is with the forecast for today, we're looking at becoming more isolated as we enter the later afternoon time frame. So dealing with a brief drier period for later this afternoon. But by this evening, we have the final push of this cold front that's going to cross over the region, bringing us more scattered showers. And unfortunately, we do have the threat of seeing a couple isolated storms later this evening into tonight. Again, that cold front finally pushes through that time frame. We are under a level one threat on the severe weather scale, so expect to see some damaging wind gusts as we've already been dealing with some strong winds for this morning and into the afternoon, but also dealing with some heavy rainfall too. I'm going to have your future cast coming up later in the newscast. Back to you guys. Hey, okay, thank you, Francis. And you know, as she just mentioned, the rain and the high wind have organizers waiting patiently before deciding on when to open the gates to the public. The delay just building anticipation for for the festival and festival goers who are here to see their favorite artists perform. Someone who's been out there all morning and didn't get the pleasure of coming inside like I did is Casey Baylor. She joins us live at the ocean front with reaction Casey from people that are trying to get to this festival. A little bit jealous of you, Bethany, but it's OK. You know, I did speak to some ticket holders, as you mentioned, and they are a little bit upset about this delay, but they're still they still remain hopeful. I mean, take a look. At 12 o'clock, these gates should have been open, but they're keeping positive in hopes that these gates will open up soon so they can have a great time. I came in 2019 and yeah, it's a little deja vu. Rain and high winds are reminding festival goers of the first something in the water festival four years ago. It's a little scary and it has them waiting a little longer to see their favorite artists. We'll just probably get breakfast at Waterman's. I'm waiting in the 9th Street parking garage, um, sitting in my car, watching Netflix, uh, just kind of trying to pass the time the best way I can. But they still have high hopes. I mean, as long as we can still see everyone we came to see, then I think yeah. that it's going to be great. I think we're all going to still have a great time. And local businesses hope to see more customers throughout the weekend. Yeah, really, I know it's supposed to rain, but we're still going to be open, so I hope they all come. Yeah. And festival goers, security guards, volunteers, they're all waiting on that green light from festival organizers to open up those gates. Those festival growers say they have ponchos and towels to keep them dry because they plan on staying here for the rest of the day once the festival gets started. We're live here at the Oceanfront. I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now.